Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video on the tropics. And so in this video, we're going to be talking about our three systems across the North Atlantic Basin. So we have that Caribbean disturbance, we have Tropical Storm Kate, and we also have Invest 90L, which is likely to develop into a tropical cyclone very, very soon. And so before I go into details... Okay guys, and so also before we kick start things, please do subscribe to my nature channel if you haven't done so. I launched this channel about two days ago and so I will be uploading content there on natural phenomena. Okay, so let's start off with Tropical Storm Kate. So let's take a look at it on satellites. And so we're seeing here that Kate is not so organized right now. We do have that cluster of shunt and storm activity, but not much going on with the system. It is facing a lot of wind shear right now. So that is why the system is looking so battered. And let's take a look at the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center. And so we're seeing here that Kate has winds of 40 miles per hour and it is accelerating northward at 5 miles per hour. So it is expected to remain a tropical storm throughout the rest of this week. And there is even a chance that it could strengthen a bit uh, if it moves into a more conducive environment with more favorable shear that will enable intensification. So fortunately, during the next couple of days, Kate is not expected to be a threat to land. And so let us go on to that Caribbean disturbance now. So as you're seeing, there is a 20% chance for us to potentially have development taking place in the Caribbean, and this is for the next five days. So we don't have that low pressure area developing as yet. So that is why you're not seeing that X, because the X shows the location of the disturbance, but it has not yet developed but it is expected to do so so probably we have this developing probably by later this week and if favorable conditions are going to be persistent maybe for next week or so then we will have an increase in the formation chance and uh, if you're in Central America you might want to keep an eye on this because it might be a threat to your location if we do have development of the system. So let's take a look at the Caribbean right now. And so we're seeing here that we do have a lot of moisture in the vicinity of the South Caribbean and over in the Eastern Pacific as well. So we're expecting that low pressure area to develop by maybe later this week, near the end of this week. So we'll have to watch and see what is going to be the outcome with that disturbance there. And so now let's move on to Invest 90L. So this is somewhat of an imminent tropical cyclone development taking place right here. So as you're seeing on the five-day outlook from the National Hurricane Center, it is given a high 90% chance to develop. And so this is for the next 48 hours and five days. So it is located just off the coast of Africa and conditions ahead of it are very, very conducive for development of a tropical cyclone. I wouldn't be surprised if this year even achieves hurricane status very soon after it develops and so it is going to be making its way mainly westward and so if you're in the Cabo Verde Islands you might experience some inclement weather as a result of the disturbance when it is going to be making its way by and so let's look at it on satellite so here we have it and this system is getting in shape so just as it makes its way off africa here we have it developing into a tropical cyclone and so this is likely to become larry because that is the next name to be used for this hurricane season so probably by tomorrow or so we will have a new tropical cyclone to pay attention to which would be tropical storm larry and so now let us go on and see what our models are forecasting in terms of the potential track of the system here so we have our models agreeing that it is going to be making its way westward for a while and then eventually make a curve out to sea to the northwest so this would kind of be the best case scenario here because if we would have the system coming straight westward probably enter the caribbean or going in the vicinity of the bahamas that would be absolutely crazy because this this thing here is likely to intensify. If we're going to be having it going out to sea, that would be good. But again, this is not guaranteed to happen. And we'll really have to wait and see what the eventual outcome is going to be for it, especially in terms of the track. But one thing for sure is that it will develop into a tropical cyclone and it is likely to become a hurricane. So let's look at our, what our models are forecasting in terms of the potential maximum intensity here. So we have quite a bit of models being available and most of them agree that 
this will become a hurricane. So all agree that it will become a named storm and most agree that it will become a hurricane. A lot of those models predict in the Cat 2. We have two expecting that it will achieve major hurricane status. One showing a Cat 3, one showing a Cat 5. So that is certainly not impossible, but again we have to wait and see what's going to be happening because its intensification is really going to be dependent on how conducive conditions are out in the Atlantic so we'll have to wait and see we're going to look at conditions very very shortly but now let's take a look at what two of our models the GFS and the Euro are forecasting for 90L so this is a map showing the isobars and the isobars are lines of equal pressure and so when you see them being closer in a circular manner with the pressure below 1013 millibars that is a low pressure system and can be our tropical cyclone so that is what we're looking for here so there we have that 983 millibar low pressure system by the 2nd of September so on Thursday and this is probably even a weak hurricane at this point 983 millibars so let's go further out to Sunday the 5th of the month and then here we have the pressure decreasing more so when you have whenever you have a decrease in pressure the system is stronger in terms of tropical cyclones so this is a 968 millibar system so this is an intensified tropical cyclone since we have the pressure fallen so much so let's go to the sixth and so we see that the pressure is at 969 millibars so slight increase maybe not much intensification from what it previously was and we have the gfs showing that it is going to be out to sea fortunately as of right now it is seaman and still the caribbean will not be in the path of danger but even if it does not for this disturbance the peak of the season is literally days away so let us take a look at the euro model so this is by thursday the 2nd of september as well so here we have euro showing this is most likely tropical storm at this point well to the southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands so let's go further out so this is Sunday the 5th of September and Euro is actually showing this so this is most likely a hurricane more than likely it is a hurricane based on how tightly packed we have the isobars being and so something interesting is the fact that Euro is showing that it is going to be making that westward track closer to the caribbean before it starts making its way to the northwest so let's go on to thursday the 9th of september and here we have it so euro is eventually showing the system making its way up to the northwest and uh, this is actually quite interesting because if we have the system being steered to the west longer then that could mean bad news for the caribbean but again we have to wait and see what is going to be happening during the next few days with the system all right so now let's take a look at conditions across the basin so first up ocean temperatures and we see here that ocean temperatures are quite warm especially in the gulf of mexico and across the main development region so those warm ocean waters are going to be aiding in the development of 90l and so in terms of the wind shear we have the different colors here meaning different shear intensities we have the green meaning favorable the yellow meaning neutral and the red meaning unfavorable so we see that we have some unfavorable shear really being across most of the caribbean but we have that favorable shear extending across portions of the main development region and so guys we really have to wait and see what's going to be happening with 90l but one thing for sure is that it will become a tropical storm and there is a good chance that it will become a hurricane as well and so that is it for this update and of course i will keep you updated as time goes by and so if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be weather wise